Hi. So I am here with my next question, uh, which is a, a programmable power supply. So basically, what I have is the microcontroller board, um, which is based on PIC 18F4520, and all the four ports, uh, port D, port B, port A, and port C are brought out. This is the voltage regulator. This is the power supply, 5 volts power supply, which is feeding this controller. Now there is a wire which is connecting uh, the 8 bits of port D to uh, this board which has a series of R to R making a DAC and these are some uh, transistors which are biased in such a way that they basically amplify the uh, voltage and uh, this is another uh, wire set of wires which goes to this transistor which is 2 and 3 zero double five. So basically what uh, the final aim of the project is basically to um, send a command from this microcontroller to this DAC. This DAC uh, gives an output of 0 to 5 volts. This 0 to 5 volts is converted uh, to a higher, you know, higher uh, power level by using these transistors. And finally, uh, this is uh, the power transistor which drives in linear mode. So the microcontroller is uh, at the final stage is basically uh, controlling the base current of this transistor and which is controlling the power which goes to the load. So uh, for load uh, I have this uh, motor which is a Pitman um, DC motor. So basically nothing to do with this project as such just I am using it to load and these are some uh, output terminals. So as you can see I have connected the CRO to one end and this is my oscilloscope and uh, this is the 24 volts power supply which is a fixed uh, 24 volts power supply okay the rating is uh, wrong here whatever is written but basically it gives a 24 volts output which I am feeding it to this board so my final uh, output of the project what uh, the final output what will come out of the project is basically I will have a keyboard where I punch in the voltage uh, and this voltage coming out from uh, the power supply which is 24 volts will be converted to that uh, lower voltage you know it might be 10 volts 10.2 volts 5 volts 7 volt anything whatever whatever I need <coughs> now uh, this is a linear power supply so the difference in voltage will be dissipated in this power transistor and so I don't expect a massive current output from this power supply uh, which will be maximum uh, 2 amps provided I uh, put even a bigger heatsink for this transistor or put at least two or three transistors in parallel. Okay, um, so what we'll uh, do right now is uh, I have programmed the microcontroller by using my, uh, you know, using my uh, computer in such a way that it gives a step response. Uh, basically nothing, uh, it just gives a, mm, you know, a voltage output from the port and which is converted to a fixed voltage by using the DAC and uh, so uh, I have set up my CRO uh, to measure the step response so which is basically an open loop so I have not connected the load so you can see the motor wire and the power supply output is not connected so basically we will check the, the open loop response so let me switch on the Okay, so I have switched it on. Let's check what is the output which will appear any time now. Okay, so uh, this is the response that we got. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the final output is 10 volts, uh, which is somewhere here in you know, this line. Uh, but there is a um, overshoot of almost five or seven volts in open, in a no load condition. So uh, what I'll do next is I'll switch it up again. So uh, so uh, next what I'll do is uh, I'll switch on the power again and this time I have connected my motor as well. Uh, so the moment uh, you see the power supply uh, you know giving some output so you'll also hear the motor running. So let's do it now. Uh, let's okay so as you can see um, there is still an uh, overshoot. Uh, let me zoom it. Okay, uh, the voltage is still almost 5 volts. You know, uh, there is an overshoot and the motor is running. So, basically, uh, we'll have to damp this overshoot by connecting a resistor or something at the output terminal. 
uh, one more uh, important point that we'll have to notice is uh, earlier I was getting an output of <coughs> okay earlier I was getting an output of uh, 10 volts uh, in this case uh, because there is a load uh, so the output voltage has you know fallen slightly to about 9.8 for example 9.8 or 9.7 I think so we'll have to compensate that and how do we do it is basically uh, we will connect a resistor here and take the output and feed it to this port which is port A of microcontroller and that is analog inputs. In the lower voltage we can do pseudo oil compensation by using a PID loop. So I will show that in my uh, next series of video. Thanks.